pandemic is impacting every Colorado county differently, so now the state wants to let local restrictions better reflect that. The plan is called a dial, similar to this, shows different phases of restrictions, ranging from protect our neighbors, the least restrictive, all the way up through several levels of safer at home. The most severe restrictions would be in the stay at home phase. The goal is to create a simple way of determining how a county can best open or close based on transmission levels. Alan Janay reporting tonight on what this new tool could mean. Jim, the state is proposing in a draft plan all of these different levels, five of them in the state, that will vary for different counties. Anything from a return to in-person learning at school, the reopening of bars and gatherings up to 500 people, to a return to where we used to be with stay-at-home orders. All over Colorado, people and businesses want things open again. We want everybody open. You know, we want we want 100 percent, but obviously we want to be safe as well. Scooter Crawford owns the Fifth Avenue Grill in Frisco. Here in Summit County, data shows a low rate of new cases over the past two weeks. For the most part, people are wearing their masks and doing their thing, and got to remind some people. But it's been it's been good. This is a progression, says infectious disease expert Dr. Michelle Barron. Do you see this as another step to full reopening? I do. I think it's actually a really clever way of looking at this in a way that makes sense. Some rural Colorado counties have no COVID cases at all. In counties like Clear Creek, where the rate is considered moderate but improving, this could put more openings within reach. Blue level, we need it. Uh, our economy has struggled and has been struggling since this COVID thing has happened and any kind of relief that we can get uh, would benefit us. Some of the idea was to try and give a little bit more control at that level rather than the state sort of mandating again sort of a blanket approach the idea to people in summit county seems to make sense we rely on visitors from the front range or other parts of the country and i think as long as they're complying to our local public health requirements then we're safe they're safe the state is now asking for public input on this idea that's due by tomorrow at noon after that They'll have a look at it, review that input, and then potentially come out with these new guidelines. But there's no specific time yet. In Summit County, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First.